What up, family? It's Nine Million. I'm back with another vlog for you. Again, the other day, another day, getting to another dollar, baby. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button and subscribe button for me. I really do appreciate it. It helps me, you know, do better on this YouTube uh, platform, this YouTube algorithm, all of that. So, all in all, I'm making this video to say apps that I use, have used, plan on using to make money with my pickup. That's what's in store. Come along with me, y'all. Come along. So, I started when I was in college doing Lyft. Lyft and Uber. I started with Lyft because I was able to rent a car through. They had like a little Lyft. Um, leasing program to be able to drive for them but um so that was lifting uber did that for some years honestly to keep it 100 and then after that it was doordash that was cool because i didn't have to drive as much i did that after i got my own truck after my after i got my own car i stick with i stuck with the uber and lyft but i added in doordash because during lunchtime it was some good money really good money lunch and dinner time and it kept me flexible in my schedule and whatnot so because of the pandemic picked up on the DoorDash, start started doing that even more and just stopped that as recently because i started doing the uh drunk movies a little side note about DoorDash: if any of y'all think about doing DoorDash or are currently doing DoorDash, if you don't know this already don't worry about your acceptance rating that don't mean nothing. They need drivers out there, so don't worry about it. Like, if you see something that ain't worth your money, or if it's taking you out of the area that you want to go in, or that you're going to, you ain't got to take it. What you want, what you don't want to do is take it and then cancel. That will get you jacked up. But as far as accepting them, not at all. When I was doing DoorDash, man, my acceptance rating got down to like 4%. <laughs> I may mean, even seen 1% one, one time, you know what I mean? It was like mad low. They try to lowball me and I wouldn't be taking them. I only take the good ones. The grills, as me and my, boy, my own boy Jeremy call them. What up, germs? But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. Little side note for you. Don't worry about the acceptance rating, but don't be doing cancellations. That's it. All right, so after I finished with the DoorDash and uh, I had already traded in my BMW for this pickup truck and trailer, um, I started uh, looking for different apps for people that need to help move. They need help moving stuff or whatever just to make money with this pickup truck. So I signed up for U-Haul. It's called U-Help, I want to say it's called. Moving their U-Boxes or whatever using my pickup truck. That was cool too. It was some decent money. You can set your own prices with that. However, I stopped doing it because those companies weren't lined up with the app. It was like half the time they wouldn't know what I was talking about. They couldn't find order numbers and, you know, customers. And uh, uh, I was doing too much time waiting. So I just stopped doing that app altogether. But if it's something that you're interested in, it is some money there. I ain't even going to lie to you. I may pick back up on it later. But as of right now, I've been pushing forward with this junk removal stuff. And um, not so much moving. I don't like moving people y'all into that that's cool i do a few deliveries but actually moving stuff like from place to place and all that like nah not me people are too anal um they'll have broken stuff and then try and blame it on you like you broke it you know what i mean like i ain't got time for none of that so um let's see what else happened after that let me think about it let me think about it i've also tried uber eats i've done the uber eats but I got hip to the Uber Eats after I was already doing DoorDash. And in my opinion, DoorDash is just way better than the Uber Eats platform. You get to see more of the information. Hey, the baby. <laughs> you get to see more of the information about, you know, your orders and how far you're going and all of that. Uber Eats, not so much. Oh, what else did I do? What else have I done? I've got minutes. And another app that never caught no traction with me is Instacart. So I looked into it, signed up, and it was really gonna do it up until I found out that it's about me shopping. Like, I gotta go shopping for these people. 
I was really gonna do it at first and then I thought to myself, I said, self, you don't even like shopping for yourself, so needless to say I never did no jobs for them. So I I deleted that app. Point pickup driver, same issue. As you see, I still had that app on my phone. And that was the reason I had the app still on my phone as of this far was because it was a reminder to, for me to make this video. So now that I'm making this video, you can see in live time of me deleting this app because it's um, small orders, little small orders or whatever. It seems to be, could be cool for somebody, but all these jobs ain't even nowhere near me. You feel me? And so they had to go to. As of right now, the apps that I currently use are the Dolly, the Dolly app, and the GoShare app. It's good for, you know, utilizing your truck and or manpower services. It's basically a go-between to get the customers in front of us with the people with the to get the customers in front of the people with the trucks. Out of the two, I prefer to have, I prefer Dolly. If you're available to do the job, you'll say, okay, I accept it, I'll do it. Everybody that does that then gets put into a, you know, a, a random draw as to who's actually gonna get the work. With GoShare, you need to be the first person to accept the job when to, that's it. So, you can be on like it's been times that I've gotten an alert and the time that it's taken me to open the app and accept the job, somebody already accepted it. That's why you see me talk about uh, Dolly a lot more on this channel because I just I get a lot more of them. That's why I'm making this video so you know it was worth for me. GoShare has been cool, but you gotta be quick to the draw. Dolly, um, is pay so-so, but it's more work out there, at least in San Diego. Now, as far as the next step for me, I've heard about this app called Lug, L-U-G-G. -G. That's the next one that I'm signed up for, or signing up for. I'm in the process of signing up as we speak. I signed up, I made it through all the application process, and they said they'll reach, reach out to me within a day or two to let me know what my next step is in the process. And that's where we are right now. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you didn't already and the notification bell so you know when I drop these videos. Um, I will be keeping y'all up to date as to what you know what's going on with Lug, what's going on with my insurance. She should be calling me back any day. If y'all don't know, if y'all new to the channel, I'm in the process of getting my my uh, trucking authority all uh, processed and undismissed, I should say. I started the process before the new year, but since I didn't have insurance and other things on file, it got dismissed. However, I can get it undismissed by having insurance on file, BOC3, UCR. Once I have those things on file and processed through the FMCSA, then I can submit an undismissal. That'll take a couple days. Once it's undismissed, then I can go work. That's my process now. So it's been hard to get insurance because my authority's so new. A lot of people don't want to insure me, including progressive. They say my authority's under a year in California. No, no. They hit me with the Matumbo. So that's it, man. Like I said, stay tuned. And uh, y'all on this process with me. So I'm going to keep y'all up to date every day that I hear something. Y'all will know something. If it's a lot, a little, nothing. You gonna know. Thanks for tuning in. Say peace out to the baby.